Hey guys, so in a past video, I made a video on running Roblox on Linux. Today, I'm going to show you how to do that. And it's easy because of grape juice. This patches Roblox in wine, so it will work. So just follow the tutorials here. So first, just copy and paste like literally everything here. Oops, sorry. I put my password. And then you can the sudo apt update and sudo app upgrade as usual. Just follow this tutorial thing and then yeah. Once you're done with it, I'll be back. So I'll just pause this video right now. Now once you like finish the tutorial and stuff, it'll just install grape juice for you. And it'll also like download Roblox and also Maybe so yeah just have to wait for this why did I unpause here this is a terrible idea and I'm pretty bad at this so yeah now you might be thinking huh it's installing Roblox it's ready right so uh, let's play a game so after installation let's go and try play a game so Flyscape 2, one of my favorites back then, <laughs> it's not really my favorites anymore, but yeah, Roblox Excel is fully installed, let's just play, right? So it'll show up this thing, and let's see if it works. And when you try to launch it, uh, come on. is this going to take a while again? Okay, it's going to start up and then it'll crash with all these details. Well, want to know why? Because uh, if you haven't read the documentation clearly in the grape juice thing, you need at least Wine 6.11 for the game to work. Now, if you're watching this from the future, it should just work. But if you're watching this in the past where 6.11 is still a development build, you need to install the development build. So click on this and then begin installing the development build of Wine. So, go to here and where is it? I use this. So, just gotta do the same thing. We already did this one. So, all we need to do is to get the key and then we can go do this thing and post repository sudo app update and then you make sure you have to install the development branch if you're watching this in the present make sure you install the development branch since that's where 6.11 is oopsie and continue so we'll just wait for this to finish installing and then I'll meet you back later. Alright, so when the wine 6.11 finished installing, so now we can try play again. And hope it works. Holy crap, I opened a bunch of stuff, the animation just freezes. So let's just wait for this. And yeah, this is the first time after it's installing the development build, it'll reconfigure, so just wait for this to finish, shouldn't take long, hopefully, <laughs> usually it doesn't take long, so yeah, I'm not gonna pause the video on this, you can just skip through, Well, it's taking forever, so I'm just gonna go and pause the video until it's done. And I got the wine mono thing. Wine mono is an install and all that crap, just hit install, just in case. And let's just wait for this to finish, and then I'll meet you later. Okay, so the configuration is finished, and we're starting Roblox. It should work, basically. Hopefully. 
just gonna wait for tilt for it to start up. I'm using an old damaged laptop hard drive for this. And here we go, we're in Roblox. Let me just turn down the volume before anything. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, the bug again. There we go. Let me just turn down the graphics. Set it to. Oh my gosh, this is not working well for me. So, there we go. We're playing Roblox. I guess. Now you might have noticed something, so performance is terrible and mouse gets stuck. So we're gonna fix one of it. Oh, and speaking of fixing, I got disconnected. Good surprise. So for the performance one, you just have to go and install DXVK. Right so DX. So what happened there was, the way it works is that Wine uses Wine D3D to convert DirectX into OpenGL, and the conversion is pretty slow. But you get, if your or device supports Vulkan, you can take advantage of DXVK, which is another wrapper that converts, like, translates DirectX to Vulkan natively, and it works pretty well. So for this, let's go and open the Grape program and wait for it to load because I'm using an old laptop drive for this Linux installation as usual then go to wine open drive C and then what you're going to do is hit control L and copy these this is the grape juice wine prefix we're going to need that now what we're going to do is go to the terminal actually before that we have to ins get the re release thing so what you need to do is we're going to download it let's like save it to yeah let's just save it to downloads so CD downloads tar xvs f dx and then what you can do now is follow the tutorial in here so export wine prefix equals to the directory you just copied and then you do slash this setup and then you change directory to dxvk and then set up dxvk install and then it should install dxvk and make the performance faster so it's gonna do this thing again but once it's finished you'll notice a, a huge performance bump in roblox so uh, be right back while this mosque siren thing is in the way okay dxvk is finished let's go and try again now just saying like i said before dxvk will only work if your device supports Vulkan. my laptop does since the intel hd graphics from the sky lake till up works so i know it'll work and i'll get a huge performance bump hopefully And we're back in Flutter's Gate 2. Now, let's go and see the performance start again. Huh, still 30 FPS. Then again, I'm basically recording this. And... Yeah. But... There is a performance bump by a bit, but not much because I can't see it here. But last time I did this, it works pretty well. But I don't know about you. Let me know in the comments if this actually helped. So yeah, and then for the mouse issue. 
Well, temporarily for now, there's a patch in the Grape Juice Discord. If I show you here, the Brinker Fix Mouse Jank patch. And then everyone's talking about the patch ex the extension. Even though extensions doesn't like extensions doesn't matter, especially for, for Linux. So yeah, there you go. That's how you install Roblox on Linux and how to improve performance on it and all. Thanks for watching. If you find this helpful, hit the like button. And if you want to see more Flutter Skate 2 content or maybe more of these, consider subscribing. I'm planning to do more hopefully so bye